After 22 consecutive playoff runs, many take the San Antonio Spurs team chemistry and winning culture for granted. But their performance has soured early on this season, despite a fairly weak schedule. The Spurs do have star power in DeMar DeRozan and LaMarcus Aldridge. But the problem is that this duo plays like it's the 1990s or early 2000s, where post-ups and mid-range jumpers were valued more than the three-pointer. DeRozan in particular hasn't stepped much outside of his mid-range game, and has stopped taking threes entirely, which is a bit curious given his sweet shooting stroke. Unlike most teams, the Spurs coaching staff hasn't pushed DeMar to take more threes, leaving this duty to smaller guards like Bryn Forbes, Patty Mills, and Trey Lyles which helps create some space in the Spurs offensive system. Aldridge plays a post-heavy game, averaging 12.4 post-ups per game last season, trailing only Carl Anthony Towns and slightly ahead of Joel Embiid. To his credit, Aldridge is taking more threes this season that have greatly benefited other bigs like Brook Lopez and Nikola Jokic but the Spurs are still steeped in a post-heavy game. Last season, they ranked fourth behind the Timberwolves with 21.3 post-ups per game. Now questions remain if the Spurs can contend after a slow start. A rebuild would be a slow and painful process for a franchise that lacks any valuable young chips, bar DeJounte Murray, which is a drawback of always making the postseason. And getting rid of Aldridge's or DeRozan's steep salary is a tough sell for this front office. DeRozan and Aldridge are taking a respective 49 and 51.9% of their shots from mid-range this season, which isn't necessarily a bad thing for DeMar, who has made millions on his step back jumper but could be perhaps optimized with more three-pointers in a league where some teams live and die on the three-pointer. If the Spurs can't turn around their slow start, then they are at risk of entering a slow and long decline into a middling team in the West.